It's Sunday, and I'm not supposed to be working on the weekends, guys, but here I am again, um, 25 days of Christmas. I am on day 19, and man, I'm almost done, six days away, and this has been fun, let me just say. I've been meaning to do this for a while, been meaning to do live videos to let you see who I am, my personality, how I go about doing things, but also, you know, I think it's important to continuously grow your business and not just work in your business or on your business, but make sure that people can kind of see what you're doing, what you're working on, and what you're excited about. And what I'm excited about right now is the holiday season, like everybody for the most part is, unless you know you're dealing with something that's not going to allow you to really uh, enjoy it the, the way you have in the past, which I think, you know, that's something that we all need to be cognizant of too. Um, during the giving season, how are we giving back? Uh, yada, yada. I don't want to get into a whole sales pitch or even a, any type of spiel at all. Um, that's off topic. Um, because there's, either way, there's a lot of stuff going on. I hope I hope you're keeping your head straight. I hope that you have a good strategy coming up for 2022 because the world is changing. And today, I drew a really kind of an insane uh, uh, industry um, to do a holiday strategy for uh, because it's something that I actually kind of do myself. Um, but it's a logo designer. And um, like most of these, these random... Uh, business categories that I've drawn on this website that I found, um, it's just really caught me off guard. You know, first and foremost, you know, just like yesterday, the pizza company, you know, who's going to be wanting, if you're, if you're, if you do logos or you do design, is Christmas really the best time or is a Christmas theme really the best idea to have during the holiday season? Um, when people are so gung ho and focused on other things, right, that has their attention, do you want to try to stand out, um, or is there another way you can go about it, right? Uh, and I think that's what's what's uh, you know I think wise for me to to do something like this because it makes me think on my toes. And even if it's not a good strategy, I think for most for the most part, you guys give me grace to understand what the game is here, what the challenge is here. And uh, logo design, I, I don't know if you guys. Maybe you have, you put in the comments down below, if you've ever even seen a commercial, any type of commercial or, uh, I'm sure, I know you guys get tons of emails. If you're a business owner, you get all kinds of emails about design and web development and stuff like that. That's what all that stuff is. A CAD, putting the stuff together, piecing it together, JavaScript, yada, yada. Uh, I keep saying yada, yada. That's not something that I normally say. So I picked it up somewhere. Um, maybe it'll be gone by video 25. But my point is... Um, I don't see a lot of opportunity here and I don't see there being uh, much of anything that would make sense really, you know, I think that, that, you, that people that can elicit a memory, you know, I've, I've been talking about this here and there throughout this series is you want to be able to drive home some sort of memory or yeah, at least a dialogue that can be had after that commercial is over. Um, you know, that's where that's a way that gets away from the typical promotions during the holidays of deals and discounts and, you know, give something away or have some buy something, get something free or uh, partner with somebody, you know, to give give people deals. Right. I think that's like the whole the whole thing of the season. And I guess that's the way of corporations way of giving back. I don't know. I heard Black Friday sucked this year, so uh, you could speak on that. But um Logo design, I think typically when somebody's searching for something like that, they're in a really, really unique uh, time of their life, right? Or time of the business. You know, I think either you launch a business just off the service for value in itself and kind of cross your fingers and kind of do your bare minimum, right? Off 100% value, experience, and confidence, sometimes arrogance. Uh, or you, you do too much, you overthink and you have... 50 different designs, you spend too much on your website, you do these business cards, you get all these photography headshots, you get all these cute designs and make it, make sure everything looks, you know, all uh, attractive and stuff, but the service sucks because then you don't actually buy it. You don't actually <laughs> get the training or education or help that you need as a person. Uh, it's hard to face, face the mirror sometimes. A lot of people look at themselves in the mirror and think this is actually a Bible verse and then you forget what you look like or who you really are as soon as you walk away. So um, there's not, it's, it's just a really specific time, kind of a hit or miss time. Somebody looks for two or three people to do a logo and then that's it. Unless the logo sucks or there's some sort of rebranding that needs to happen, there's not really another phase or element of the cycle where they revisit that. So 
throwing an ad out is risky. Um, and that's why so many people f focus on quantitative measures uh, instead of qualitative measures because the more you can get in front of people, the more chances are that they're gonna remember you. Logo might be one of them things or design in general, like I need a designer. Um, that might, a, a, quanta, um, uh, a quantitative method is a little bit more ideal or, or realistic or uh, effective, I guess. I wouldn't call it intelligent yet. I have to see some numbers. Uh, then most, it, it would be more uh, effective than most industries. Let's just put it that way. So uh, I don't want to get myself caught up here because I don't want to lose you. So um, anyways, my point is when I'm thinking about this, you know, I, th I think one of the smartest things that you could do is if you're going to invest some money in a campaign or something, will be something simple, something that you could do, something that you can mass produce, something that can benefit your past clients, and uh, something that's unique to you, right? It's not just about designing a logo or designing a flyer for social media, right? Because lots of people could do that. I could do that. Um, it's about driving uh, the value up of what you do so that you could set your price higher, right? And let people see that you're uh, not just skilled and talented and you can design, but that you... Uh, have different variations, uh, that you're fluent in design, if that makes sense. Um, there's a difference between being seen as a designer, a capable designer, and a fluent designer, or a skilled designer, right, that has many uh, tools, tool, tools in her tool belt. Um, so I guess I'm buying myself time like I kind of do here talking in circles, but um, I don't think you come out straight out with this commercial or even try to do something funny or even holiday themed for this type of client. If, if just initially off the top of my head, uh, it's something that I probably, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable doing, or at least I would advise the client. Um, don't do that. Um, don't go for the quantitative this time. Let's try to do something different. Uh, let's not do a commercial that's cheesy or tries to force feed Santa or a Christmas tree or anything like that. Um, let's just hit it. Let's just hit it as a holiday theme, uh, or as, as, as what you are, that you're a designer. Um, and we could maybe try to sprinkle some things in. I might as we go, but I'm thinking of reach out to all your whole client base with that video, with that commercial, with that, with that, uh, media, let's just say media, maybe throw a survey or something together and, um, initially just kick off the strategy, give them something offer them something uh, that you already have a pool, right? You already have a pool of clients, in most cases, lots of clients that you can uh, <laughs> solicit, I guess. Yeah, solicit, but um, add more value to. So maybe give something free, like a cute little design that they could all use that's maybe uh, catered to the specific brand that you could just make a few little tweaks and then maybe offer a, a bigger package. So you're, you're, you're doing, you are soliciting, but you're still providing value, right? So that people can appreciate it, not be annoyed. I think that's really smart. Something that I would like to always focus on, um, or that I like to always focus on doing, because if you don't, then you lose those customers by ask with the ask. Um, and you, they could still say no, right? And still pull away value and still appreciate you. Um, and you not come on off, 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 as, off as a solicitor. Um, and in most cases, uh, emojis are really big now. I think that's something that you could do. Emojis, icons, something like that for the website. Uh, just something that's simple, a circle icon um, that they can use here and there. It's not a huge deal. It doesn't take you a lot of time or resources to create. Um, you just export it, upload it. You're not shipping anything. That's why I'm saying this type of industry is, is unique because the product itself is virtual or it's not essentially physical, right? It's something that can be used multiple times. It doesn't necessarily depreciate. It doesn't get broken. Uh, it doesn't wear. Um, anyways, I would do emojis. I would give away emojis. Maybe do a uh, Santa emoji. I said I wasn't going to bring it in, but uh, something like that. Maybe a Santa suit with the logo on it or something if it's not too small or even just the colors, right? And then offer them a whole bunch of logos or uh, gifts or um, maybe it's just little different designs and stuff that they can text or email or put on social media. That just adds a little bit of, 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 brand, of a brand element to their presentation, right? Because that's your value as a designer. You're taking, you're not necessarily taking your designs and giving them to your clients. You're taking 
the client's identity or their uh, aura, whatever the case may be, and you're creating a design out of that. So uh, you don't want to try to be too pushy, but they're also le trying to leverage you. They're paying you because they need your expertise on how to design that. Some people pay a person like me to be a middleman to be able to help piece that stuff together, and I see the value in that too. But for the most part, that could be something you could promote too. Be push somebody like me that's like, hey, for your next design, I have this new uh, partner that I'm working with that really helps me um, uh, piece together the vision board or whatever you might be working on, and I'd love to give you a free consultation with him. There's your gift, right? That's your give, your gift for the holiday season. Now, as far as when it comes to a commercial or a video follow-up of that, I think the only thing that you could really do is is um, showcase your work as a designer. I think even if you have a bad attitude, right, um, or you're not as personable, right, uh, or engaging as of a as a person, if you're talented, people are going to pay you. So somebody like me, where I, I you need to see me, you need to interact with me before you hire me because I'm working with you, and you need to be able to trust me. Uh, look me in the eye and stuff. Um, that's important but when it comes to a designer. You just need to see their skill uh, for the most part. Um, that's what you're paying for. So I think the f the best thing to do, that's where just come up with a couple ideas here <laughs> as I'm buying myself time, is show them designs, maybe in a holiday theme or a jingle bell or even just bells, right? Something that's really fast paced that shows and highlights um, all of your work. Uh, it could be vehicle wraps. Uh, show your var variety. Show your ability to design multiple different things. Your f your fluency. I think that would be the right word that I would use. Being fluent in multiple areas. Uh, from an icon all the way to a vehicle wrap. To a billboard, right? To uh, a signage maybe for a fair or football stadium, right? Something like that that's on the outside that, that you design that somebody else put up. Maybe it could be a compilation video of all the steps that go into design because I know as designers uh, and any t type of creative person, I, I think the pain point is that everybody assumes that you can do something really fast and it's really easy as you just give something to somebody and they just use their magic brain to come up with an idea in an hour and it should only cost 50 bucks. No, people don't understand the steps and processes that, uh, or the steps that it, that every client or every designer goes through or the processes that they take to uh, finalize a product, right? Um, especially customized products. Uh, you know, you're not duplicating something as a template. Uh, if you are, you're not really a designer, you're a salesperson, sorry. But, you're taking ideation is a creation and your formation and <laughs> formulating the formation. Um, that should be unique to that specific client. So, um, you know, showcasing, uh, I guess, the process of the meeting to the design, to the revisions, to, to uh, uh, you know, vectorizing that, right? If you're a freehand sketcher like I am when I do my logos, I sketch until somebody's happy, then I vectorize it. That takes hours to, to scan it in, to make the little adjustments, to move the stuff in Illustrator and make sure it looks good, right? Um, all those things, uh, um, you know, and then just approval and payment and then uh, exporting it and then doing your variations. If you're doing a logo, for example, you know, you have... Uh, logo on the top of the title, then you have to the side, then you have just the logo, then you maybe have the icon, the favicon, your business card, what goes on the top of your header for uh, emails or uh, uh, documents, right? Or letterheads, right? What? Wh how many different designs can you think of? Even just profile pictures, people don't understand. You have different sizes and file sizes even. Um, so weight and width for the image itself and people don't understand you can get a logo done and then you try to upload it everywhere it looks bad why does it look bad because you don't have the variations of or format variations that you need to upload them properly so it looks bad like all these things go into a solid design and you could even just do that without words pumping through uh you know what it takes to make a logo and all the time it takes to make a logo and i think that would resonate uh well and when people come down to deciding when 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 it, the decision comes down to deciding like who who do you want to hire and you see this commercial this wow this extensive process for fifteen hundred dollars twenty five hundred dollars that gets you exactly what you need no hiccups everything's in a library and um, 
it's seamless, right? Versus a person that you pay the three fifty, four hundred dollars for. <laughs> I mean, mine's seven fifty, so hopefully I'm not putting myself uh, too far to totem pole here. Um, I don't get a lot of logo inquiries, anyways. But my point is, you want them to see that that you're that you're educating them, right? That you're educating them on what you do, that they can see the value in what you do. That if it comes down to that decision, does this person that you, maybe both of you have bad attitudes, but does this person is he able to explain or show or value the process of getting you from from the start to finish, like this person or this gal does? And that's the type of stuff that people that soaks into people's, uh, you know, subconscious that allows them to trust, you know, and I maybe don't want to pay $2,000 for that logo. Oh, man, I really, I want to find, I want to spend more time to find somebody else, but boom, you're going to get everything that you need done the first time the, the right way. And you're going to uh, work with somebody that's super talented. And I think if you're able to boom, 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 really paint that picture in the 30 second commercial, follow it up with a free grab, um, send it to your customers, the customers you've already had, I'm gonna guarantee you one or two of them share it, one or two of them share it over one year, say 50 people see it, one person hires you. In most cases, that could be your return right there just for the video in itself. Um, map that stuff out, if that happens once every year for the next 10 years, boom, your video is just a 10 to one return. So, um, you know, that's where you take, take things build upon those types of ideas, build upon those types of campaigns and understand how you even monetize that stuff, right? Because uh, somebody can find you via search, right? But the the lead could actually come from word of mouth experience that somebody else had based on the amount of time you spent on the front end of building processes, building the experience and making sure you have a good follow-up. So anyways, taking the time to showcase something like that, like for a designer, when you can hire so many people on Fiverr or hire a contractor, or even find somebody on Facebook or, or Craigslist if you really, Instagram if you wanted to and, and cross your fingers, that's fine if you wanna do that. But if you're able to find somebody that you could remember that's like, man, this this person's legit. And when I, my business gets to a certain point, maybe I'm shopping on Fiverr and stuff or hiring people on Upwork, um, now, and, and I understand the risk there, man, it's frustrating, but in, in the future, this is what I'm working towards. And that's, that's kind of a cool, uh, perspective to have too, that as a business owner, you should have these types of visualizations. And if you're able to have a type of brand or company that you want to work with, that you can envision working with in the future, that helps carry, that helps them carry that, that, uh, those goals, right. And that belief and that, uh, and it rem reminds them of where they want to be so that uh, if they're comfortable at all, that it kind of shakes them up a little bit. And businesses that want to be, that want to grow, I hate to use the word successful, but businesses that achieve, that achieve the mission that they're set to accomplish, typically are surrounded by a couple different businesses that do have that same type of vision or visualization for their brand or business too. And so think about that stuff like, you know, the people want if if you're a if you're aspiring to be something, why wouldn't you want to align with somebody uh like a designer for that matter when you're gonna always need design as a business owner or CEO? Um that's gonna be uh, valuable. You have to be able to see those types of things. It's gonna be something that people appreciate, that consumers understand, that they that they uh that's translatable into their own lives and even if they don't even understand it. So Anyways, I'm rambling again. Hopefully I didn't go too long on this one, but logo designer, don't overthink it. Keep it simple. Stay out of the, the limelight because you don't have to be. Your talent speaks. Show the talent. Uh, try to uh, sprinkle in as many relevant uh, add-ons as you can as far as just partnerships and processes and uh, and your talent, your skill, the, the, the projects, the final product itself, um, and then give away give away something free to your to your current or past customers and share the video so that they could push it too. And I think that's the best way you can maximize something during the holiday season. Everybody's home and um, set you up. I think this sets you up pretty well for 2022. Um, there's anything that you that you can think of if you're a designer, you're a logo designer, you know, you, maybe you got a strategy going on right now. Share it with me. Uh, I'll, I'll share it with on my feed. Um, you know, any, any way that we could strengthen the community of people that follow me, I think that's what it's all about too. And hopefully down the road, some of you are watching, um, tuning in or maybe seeing some of my videos here and there. And, and maybe I'm one of those people that you want to work with down the road and it's not something that you're ready to do. And, and that's okay too. And, and the more that we can build that type of uh, community 
and uh, uh, what would you call it? I guess a uh, uh, vertical of value. That's kind of cool, kind of a cool phrase um, where people can kind of tap into when they need it. I think that's what it's all about. And I know there's tons of people out there, some people that watch these videos that you know you're using what I say. Um, without even giving me kudos and that's okay too. I mean, I know to me I still find fulfillment in that because I know that you're implementing something that I uh, You know, I have a lot of passion for um, so um, You know, do you got any ideas questions or suggestions for any videos in the future? I mean, you got six days left. So after after this um, kind of kind of be uh, You know back to the back to the drawing board, but um, I know this has been a lot of fun So be purposeful with everything you do guys and just remember to always pre-focus. Have a great rest of your Sunday.